2021 is everything for Minnesota Fighting Vikings head coach Mike Zimmer. And I do think that it is binary for him this year. Either the Vikings make significant steps towards winning a Super Bowl or he's fired. And I don't see a world where Zimmer and crew go 8-9 and nine and is back in 2022. I just don't see that. And since we love tossing around a couple jelly beans, let's see if we can profit from the two extremes. To win NFL Coach of the Year... Mike Zimmer's odds are plus 2,500 or 25 to 1, tied for 13th best in the NFL, which I think is fair. Uh, note that Stefanski has the shortest odds since he won in 2020. What up? Which we could have kept him, but nah. Now, it's important to note that Coach of the Year, more than any other award, factors in degree of difficulty. It's not always the best coach who wins Coach of the Year. Belichick's only won three times, and he's won seven friggin' Super Bowls. It's, hey, you overachieved with a crappy team, or you're a new coach who did well, and blah, blah, blah. And given how 2020 went down, maybe that does give Zimmer an advantage. Say that the Vikings win 12 games, they win the division, and I think that it's pretty easy putt for Zim, even though the team was artificially down in 2020. Other side of the coin, what if the Vikings stumble out of the gate like they did last year? Odds that Zimmer is the first coach fired is 11 to 1 or plus 1100, fifth best in the NFL or fifth worst, depending on how you see it, I guess. LOL, Mike McCarthy at number one. I think Fangio could be on thin ice because George Payton, the, the new GM in Denver, did not hire him. Matt Nagy, of course, is always going to be on thin ice, although his GM is uh, uh, on the brink, too. John Gruden, I don't think he'll be fired with that massive contract. It's whatever. And I'm actually good with this because besides Nagy, I don't think there's any Bill O'Briens just hanging by a thread out there. Because remember, last year, B.O.B. was fired after four games. Quattro. And, and also, Dan Quinn was fired after starting starting 0-5 with the Falcons. Now, I, I don't think there's any clear-cut candidates to be the first guy axed this year, but we'll see. And I think that it is key that the Vikings buy is week seven, as teams generally like to fire at the buy to let the interim have two weeks to get up to speed. So if this thing goes sideways fast, Zimmer could easily be the first one gone. So I'll take 11-1. to And even though, hey, you know, the Vikings are 0-6 or 1-5, I'll just dry my tears with all the extra jelly beans and benchies I have just hanging around. Right. So I do like both these odds. Coach of the year, I think you could easily see it. First one fired. I also think you could easily see it depending on how things go. So I'll put a jelly bean down on both. So I think that this is an S or get off the pot season for the entire Vikings organization, especially for head coach Mike Zimmer. So, you know, if it's going to be one of two extremes. We may, we may as well win some jelly beans. Why the hell not at this point? For entertainment purposes only. But your thoughts? Mike Zimmer, he's got odds. Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Well, support that work. Post on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.